So hey everyone, it's Brendan with Hey You Guys. I'm sitting down with Mr. Bloom, who's the producer of Unfriended. Thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you, thanks for having me. So uh, it seems like a social media based horror film was inevitable, but can you talk a little bit about the choice to do it all in one computer screen and where that idea came about in the production process? Yeah, sure. I, I think a uh, social media film is inevitable. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea came from Timor who spends half his time in Los Angeles and half his time in Russia. So he spends a lot of time on Skype. So he was kind of thinking about what would involve Skype and be scary. And that was kind of the birth of Unfriended. Nice. Was that rel relatively early in the process or did it come? Yeah, it was a long time ago. I think it was about six or seven years ago he's been thinking about this. And we didn't get involved in the movie until August. We saw a rough cut of the film in August and I, I really loved it. I loved the concept. I loved mm -hmm. the execution. And so we worked with him on it and dug in and, and here we are today. But, uh, but uh, he's team has been thinking about it for a long time. Thanks. Were there any concerns that like audiences might burn out through the length of the film? Were there longer cuts? Were there shorter cuts that like, tried to strike the right balance? We always have longer cuts of our movies. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we work hard to get them down. We rarely have shorter cuts, although sometimes we've had a, we've one or two times. Uh, there was a longer cut of this movie. And, um, and you all, the, the balance of a longer and shorter cut is you want to get a cut as short as possible, but there is a point where it's so short that people stop feeling what's going on. So you want to get to that point and come back a couple right. minutes. Right. And that's what we did with this movie. Gotcha. There are a lot of uh, partners in the movie, it seems, to really help blur that line between reality and the fantasy of the film. Facebook, Skype, obviously, even Spotify. Were there different versions that had, like, fake online presences that um, you had you earlier? I, think, I thought it was really important for the movie to feel very real. Right. And, and I think especially... Um, um, younger people are sensitive to brands and how they communicate with people and what they do. So, so I really, I, I didn't think, I, I don't, there was, there, I don't think there ever was a version where it wasn't really how, how social media works. Interesting, interesting. Um, do you think the content and the story of the film will discourage online pirates from stealing the film? <laughs> Um, do I think the con that's a great question. Do I think the content will encourage online pirates to steal the film? I don't, but I wish it would. Like they'd get haunted <laughs> if they steal. Unfriended. They might. They, they should. Either, I'm sending a message out there that they. I will haunt them if they steal any of our movies. There you go. Including Unfriended. So they uh, they're talking about how Unfriended really kind of paves way for horror in the future. Where do you see the genre going in, like say the next five or ten years? Where would you like to? I think Unfriended is the first example of a story that's told using a screen and, I, and mm -hmm. I hope if the movie's successful I, I would certainly be excited to make sequels. I think Timor's got a lot of ideas of what you could do with it. I think you could do other genres with it too. So I think it's a very beginning and I think in, the same, in a similar way Blair Witch was kind of the start of found footage and right. Paranormal built off that and a lot of movies came after Paranormal. I don't think it'll take over movie making in any way but I think yeah. it'll be another tool artists have at their disposal to tell, tell stories with film. All right, real quickly then, what do you suppose the title of the next movie would be? If there's an Unfriended sequel, Unfriended 2, MySpace's Revenge, or something like that? <laughs> I don't know if MySpace would be in the title. No, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hope we're lucky enough to think about what the title for the sequel would be, but I haven't yet. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much again for your time. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!